What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel. Um, I'm into week three of my recovery now. The hamstring is healing really well. And guess what? I'm down at the stadium tonight. We've got Bristol City. I'm not quite in a match day squad yet, but I'm back on the grass with the strength and conditioning coach. We're gonna be doing sprint work, accelerations, decelerations, and if I'm lucky, he may even get the balls out. So, gonna get myself down to the training ground first, get some treatment from the physios, make sure that my hamstring's warm and loosened off before we get into the high speed stuff. I've got a big breakfast in front of me. And yeah, I woke up this morning, checked my whoop score again, and I am in peak recovery, 96%. I've been making a conscious effort to really focus on recovery and um, give my hamstring the best chance in healing by eating anti-inflammatory foods and sleeping well, using my Normatex. And my whoop just, um, it just confirms for me what, um, what I'm hoping to see in the mornings. I think yesterday my recovery was actually 31% because that was the first time that I would run in a long while and when your body's not used to taking on a lot of strain or, or new exercises etc your recovery will be low i then rested and recovered really well and today i'm back in the green primed and ready to go so i'm gonna eat this now i'm gonna get down to the training grounds and let's attack this day also in my last video i told you guys to ask me any questions that you may have that are football related so I'm gonna be picking one of them out later in this video, so make sure you stick around until the end. Right, really good session done. Um, myself, the SNC coach, and the boys that were in the squad today really tested the hamstring. Did a lot of um, max out sprints, so 90% plus max velocities. Did a lot of axle decel work. Loads of short sharp stuff, which is good for me being a six foot five centre half. Um, yeah, so really pleased with that. Hammy felt fine. Hammy felt strong. Recover right now, and we go again tomorrow for another big session. 
Man, then relax. Man, then relax. Big hamstring session yesterday and uh, a massive win from the boys last night. 2 1, unbelievable scenes last minute. The big man Akinfemo scores to keep our promotion hopes alive. Um, we've all been given a day off, so I've just come down to London, been to Nike Town to, um, to upgrade some of my training gear. And now I'm just stopping off at Sushi Samba and I'm going to enjoy a nice healthy meal. I'll show you how you can come to these top notch restaurants and still eat healthy and enjoy yourself. The missus just bullied me out my seat right next to the heater. To be fair, it is cold up here. Um, I'm still waiting for our starters. All right, you can never go wrong with edamame beans. They're high in vitamin K. They essentially have no calories and also high in protein, iron and calcium. So a great little starter when you do get to tip yourself out. I've got Wagyu beef here with broccoli and also on the side the tomato salad. No carbs because it's a rest day. Great way to refuel. Um, Wagyu beef really high in quality, a little bit more pricey, but it is worth it. That's pretty much my meal. I've just asked the waiter for a bib because Lily's flung balsamic vinegar all over her blazer and jump. Liability. What's going on here? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> You can tell someone's had a Prosecco or two. So my agent booked the restaurant today and um, the waitress has just come up at the end of our meal, started singing happy birthday to Lily. No idea where this has come from. <laughs> well, we won't take it. Because she's gluten free, we brought out half a mochi for her <laughs> as her cake. <laughs> down at the training ground today. I'm even more desperate to get back now for Saturday. We realistically, we need to win the next three games um, in order to stay up. So another rehab session. I think I may be even doing a bit of modified training with the boys. We'll see how it goes. Um, gonna try and push the physios to get me back out there now. Hamstring feels so good. So done so well with this one. Let's go. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Did 
you say, bro? Calm down with your video. Yeah. We're guessing it. <laughs> you had a good session, have you? Bloody wicked. Jesus. Good first modified session back with the lads. He did small sided games. Bit of a. Uh, Crossing and finishing. At Joel Spillett is the main America. <laughs> Follow me, Snapchat. Rest day tomorrow, Wednesday, but I'll come in, do a little bit with the physios, probably do a, some plyometric work actually. Leg session this afternoon, and then hopefully back in the squad Saturday. Stop at the services, little coffee stop. Hello, man. Alright, man, I'm tired. <laughs> we'll be absolutely buzzing if there's a Starbucks here, but it's not looking likely. Little Starbucks or what? Costa, let down. Costa? Are you a Costa man over Starbucks? Starbucks. Miles off it. Oh, you're Starbucks? Starbucks, let down. Getting into the hotel now. Um, I think it's a nice one to be fair, Hilton. Let's see what this one's saying. Look at that, Toolsy. Hey? Paranormal Techs, hey? great pro. Fucking hell. How good are they, bro? <sighs> Glorious, see these? <laughs> I'll be playing without this. <laughs> Lovely. Happy with this hotel. Cheers, Kelly. You're welcome. Thank you. Let's get in the room, see what it's saying. May have a little bath, who knows? <laughs> Think I'm right at the end. Big sweet. Ah, nah, one before the end. Do not mind this at all. Look at this, spacious. Big TV. Get the football on tonight. <laughs> And what position do you play? And what do you do outside football? What do you do in the past? Spend time with family and friends. Okay, you're in a relationship and you've got a girlfriend? No. Now, when was your last relationship? Never. You've never been in a relationship? No. No? Tell us why, what's your viewpoint? You're just trying to concentrate on football? You know? Concentrating for I should have helped you there, but anyway. Oh, so you know what? Yeah, I didn't know. So tell us one thing that we don't know about you. Um, what's the system? You've got two systems? Oh, crap! I knew that. Yeah, Adelaide. Yeah? And what's her name? Alright, Joe. Adelaide. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Winner for Wickham. In what game? Um, in the game to keep us um, in the championship. Oh. Oh. Or oh. 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 sign a two year contract. Who scored that? Who scored that? Who scored that? I might be a free one. Who scored the winner? Who scored the winner? Oh snap, for real? <laughs> I hate, listen, they want to hear you in the back, make sure you please speak into the mic and one second because it's a good song. Hey, how we going, guys? I can't sleep at night, I'm tossing to, listening for the telephone. Okay. So when I get your car, I know your turn, yeah. can't believe you call my phone. Oh. And as a matter of fact, it yeah. blows my mind. Come on. Welcome, can you please tell us your name, your age, and where you're from? Into the mic, please. My name is Sammy Lockerbord. 21. What position do you play? And footballing idols, inspiration, swimming. Gerard. Gerard. And you should say you play like a. What's going on guys? I'm just at the stadium now. We've got uh, Bournemouth at home today. They're currently third in the league, firmly in the playoff spots. They didn't get automatic promotion, but it's, um, it's gonna be a tough game, this one. I'm just buzzing to be back with the boys. It's a bit too soon for me to start. The hamstring has repaired really well, but to go into a 90 minute game, you've got to make sure you've, um, you've really built up to it. Won't be starting today, I'll be on the bench. 
um, hopefully get some game time. That'll be good. And hopefully afterwards, I'll be pushing for a start for Middlesbrough next week, final game of the season. So let's go. Hi, mate. You all right? Imagine this one. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yeah, G, you know the camera's on you. So I've just got back to mine after the Bournemouth game and I'm absolutely buzzing. We won 1-0. Um, I came on last 15-20 minutes to help the boys keep a clean sheet and grind out the result. So delighted with that. Hopefully I'm now in contention to start against Middlesbrough next week. That'll be good. Last game of the season. I said to you guys earlier in this video that I'll be answering one of your questions from my previous video. You had a fair few for me. You made it difficult. You asked some really, really good questions. Um, but I have picked out Sabo Ada's question. And he asks, what is the biggest difference between an amateur and a professional football player? So it's a really good question and I was actually going to make a video on this because there's loads of differences. But for me, the biggest difference will be the decision making and the technique. So what I mean by that is when you look at the likes of De Bruyne's, Neymar's, Messi's, these elite level players, the decisions that they make are always the correct ones. They're able to make them quickly. But not only that, they then have the technique to execute a good pass or a quality finish. And that's the biggest difference, you know. When you go 
down the league. Some people may have good decision making, but not quite got the technique. They may have good technique, but they make bad decisions and that's what lets them down. So in my next video, I'll be giving myself one minute on the shot clock to answer any of your questions that you may have. So get down in the comments below, ask me anything football related, and I'll pick one out in the next video. See you then. Thank you.